Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Sunday video. In this video, I just wanted to quickly talk about the new Send menu in Silhouette Studio 4. I know a lot of people have a lot of problems when they get to this menu because there are several changes from the previous edition of Silhouette Studio. I actually did do a Silhouette Basics video where I went over the basic one, two, three setup that is now the procedure for cutting things out. But in this video, I was going to I'm going to show you, I should say, how to turn on and off certain cut lines in a design that you've created. So I have my design on my cutting mat and you can see it here. I've been commissioned to make a birthday shirt for a friend's daughter. And there are items on here that I want to print and there is a line that I want to cut. Since I'm doing an iron on transfer, I will need to mirror this design and print it out with registration marks later. But for the sake of this video, I have them all turned off so it's easier to see. See, so you can, here you can see I have my design that's going to print. And this dark line going around the edge of the design is actually what I want to cut out for the iron on transfer onto the shirt. And everything inside, I actually just want to print. So if I go ahead and I go to the send button at the top right hand corner, you'll see that everything has a red line next to it. And anything with a red line is designated to cut out, including here where I backed this little piece of the image behind the four. And I don't want that. I only want this outside line to cut. So to fix that, what I'll need to do is turn on and off the various cut lines. So everything for this design is going to be taken care of by tool one and my printer. And tool one is set to red, which is this red line here. So to turn off those cut lines, what I'm going to do is select each of the items separately or however they may be grouped together and I'm going to go onto this menu and select what I want it to do. So right now you can hardly tell, but this box right here is gray that says cut. And this, these items here, I don't want to cut in the, in the actual design. So I'm going to select no cut and you'll see the red line disappears. And this part of the design here, I actually do want to cut. So I'm going to leave it on the cut setting. Now, if I didn't want it to cut out, I would select no cut for it as well. And you can see the the line becomes lighter, but I do want it to cut out when I print and cut the design. So I'm going to go ahead and select cut. So now when I'm ready to send this to the silhouette, the printed out portion or the actual design will print out via my printer and then I'll load it into my silhouette as a print and cut file and the machine will register the registration marks and just cut around the design. So that's it for today's silhouette Sunday video. I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope uh, some of you are making an easy transition to Silhouette Studio 4. I know a lot of people are not loving it. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really like it that much in the very beginning because it looks very different. But as I spent more time using it, I realized it is actually a lot easier um, to find things in this new program as opposed to the old one if you don't know where something is. And I can explain that in a future video. But anyways, that's it from me, guys. Thanks for watching.